Hey guys, Jimmy here again, and today I'm bringing you some gameplay on Gomud Railway, doing what I think will be a new series where I play on different maps and tell you guys what I think are the best loadouts for each map. And you guys will be able to suggest in the comment section which map you would like me to do next. And just to start this all out, I decided to do Gomud Railway. Now one of the main things that you want to think of whenever you're choosing a loadout for this map is how open this map is. This is one of the most open maps in the game and unless you're sticking around the A and B area which is that upper area with all of the houses uh, you really shouldn't be using any kind of close quarters weapon. Uh, it'll make you very ineffective in practically every situation on this map. So I kind of picked a loadout that kind of fits that that narrative that you really want to uh, be much more proficient at long range than usual but since this is a very vehicle centric map you also want to be on something like the engineer kit so I chose engineer kit and I put a DMR on there the mark 11 motto enhanced DMR I, to me this is probably the best DMR in the game I don't know what it is but just its stats make it feel like it's much better than all of the other choices of course it's not as spammy as the SKS and it doesn't have, have as high of a bullet velocity as like the RFB but it is still a very good DMR all around so I chose this because uh, of all of those features and I put a 3.4 times scope on it uh, just so you can have the long range capabilities but it it's slightly better at closer and medium range than the four time scope and then I put a target designator on there because uh, it is extremely superfluous putting a laser sight on there and the target de designator just makes it that much easier to spot targets uh, it's kind of useful saying as I'm starting to use laser sights less and less as uh, I was just finding myself turning them off more than usual and then I put a stubby grip on here to make it more accurate and I was ready to go with this main weapon. I, I was managing to rape people quite often with this weapon uh, with as open as this map is. A lot of times guys are trying, trying to run with stuff like PDWs and they're just going to get absolutely shrecked at long range. Now as a sidearm I chose the G18 or the Glock 18. is the automatic pistol, the only automatic pistol in the game. Now this is to serve as the close quarters situations because really DMRs kind of suck in close quarters unless you can manage to get lucky and land those hits uh, because hip fire is going to do you no good because it's a semi-auto weapon and you have a long, longer magnification scope on there so it just makes it almost impossible so I chose the Glock 18 you could also choose something like the M93R which uh, also helps in close quarters with this three round burst so this really allowed me to be able to kill people in close quarters uh, therefore I was able to have a lot more versatility and I was not so like paranoid of getting in those close quarters situations I could just whip it out and mow a couple of guys down of course uh, it's not the absolute best thing to have in close quarters if, if they have an assault rifle or something they're just gonna absolutely destroy you so it really helps if you can catch them off guard or if you can just make sure to land your shots since I'm running the engineer kit it really helps to have a rocket launcher I'm most of the time I don't really wonder why you would use anything else with how effective these are so I always go with the small uh, you could use the RPG with its damage but I just like how straight the small fire is it has the least drop of all of the dumb fire rocket launchers and it, ha it does a ton of damage not as much as the RPG but still quite enough to where you can take out a tank without running out of ammo uh, provided you actually manage to hit them with every single rocket now for the rest of my loadout I use the repair tool of course because it's the most team oriented gadget for the engineer class. I use it quite a lot when every single time you come across an ally tank that's hurting it's pretty much your responsibility to help them so I try to do that as much as possible. And I'm also running the defensive field upgrade. Usually I run the offensive field upgrade to uh, get the extra ammo and such but the defensive upgrades first perk really helps you uh, if anybody's shooting at you it can uh, add on maybe even an extra bullet worth of damage to your person so you could take just one more bullet and that could mean the difference between life and death I use the M67 frag grenade because there's just no grenade that is as effective as it anymore. Uh, so I pretty much just run it exclusively. I used to use the RGO impact grenade but it was just nerfed into oblivion. So the M67 is the way to go. 
And there we go, that was the entirety of my loadout that I chose for this map. Uh, really, it was extremely effective. Usually, I do something like the tank or the scout heli the entire round, so I haven't really had that much experience of doing exclusively infantry. And with this loadout, I didn't do too bad. Usually, uh, you do get sniped quite a bit, or you can get taken out by vehicles and stuff, but that didn't happen this round. For fortunately, I had a pretty good team. Uh, so yeah, if there's another map that you guys would like me to do, make sure you say it down in the comments. And until next time, if you guys like this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And this is Mummy. goodbye, and good hunting.